Hey guys, what's going on? Let's uh, decompose a couple more videos onto why not and why yes. Alright, so there you go. That's what we hear, yeah? Okay, so this will happen. Now, who can tell me, was this situation... Was that situation completely legal? Was everything done right in this situation? Or something might have been a little different? Some of you say, well, the guy who crashed and flipped over his car is the wrong guy, but I wouldn't say entirely so, because if you look closely over here, there's a bus, bus stop sign, okay? It's a bus stop. If you look on the line over here, this is a curved curb for the buses this car this car and this car where's the video made from are standing on the bus territory and bus lane so makes it all harsh for some other drivers you know they see illegal and the more illegal stuff there it attracts more and more um, dumbasses if I might say so um, to do the same stuff so I don't. I cannot judge uh, fully the situation because I don't know what happened to the guy who flipped over. Let's see this again. Oh, we hear. You see this? This is what we hear here. It's so bad because they all standing on the bus stop. They shouldn't be there. So park legally. That's the first advice. Let's move on. Remove this sign or the voice. So this is from Russia. Another crazy story. All right, people are coming to help him. It's okay. All right, over here, what we see here. Nobody gets hurt here in this situation, but the truck driver exceeded. The truck driver exceeded. Let's see again. So the truck driver goes in a slippery road. Okay, this is a slippery road, you see a lot of rain, a lot of fallings, and it's mounting. So, if you are in this area of mountains, you gotta know there is a low pressure, um, there might be a, a salt on the ground, there might be a minerals, there might be a, um, some fallouts uh, that are uh, really unusual because of the area, because of consistencies, there may be some um, gas resources, you know, all the different things that can affect the slipping, the slippiness of the road and the grip of your tires. So, and the, the truck driver is supposed to slow down because it's a curve. And the, the, maybe what I think will happen, like, like, tell me in the comments below, what do you think? His tires in the front are completely lost. He, he didn't change them for a long time. That's why they didn't grip in uh, not so much of rain and he slipped because of his bad tires he has to be renewed on a regular basis you can check it out you can definitely stick a quarter or a penny whatever you have the tire or so on and see just how bad your tires are just check it online you know let's move on next video All right, so what we have here, we have a car approaching at excessive speed and hitting this car, making a collision, right? So if, I'm not gonna stop and go over, just gonna go quick over here. I wanna, I wanna show you guys more videos than usual, more than one video I'm trying to do. In the future, I'm gonna try to make at least um, uh, 10 minutes of episode non-stop, just keep talking about the issues, stopping for a little while. Um, I used to drive a lot, and I drive still a lot, 100 miles a day, sometimes more. Um, okay, Uber drivers, they make 200 miles a day. I'm not like that, but I still I drive a lot. And this is coming out of experience. So let's see what happened next. So the car was excessive speed. Shouldn't be like that. The car that was on the left over here, all the way on the left, it was too low for the highway. It's one, two, three, four, five, six lanes highway. You're not supposed to go that slow on a six lane highway. If you have to stop, go on the shoulder, and then you gotta make your flashing lights and so on. And you know, this is dangerous because 
this collision causes other people in the left lanes to hit this car that already stopped at a full high speed which which is crazy which is insane you know plus all the parts in the road you know you see those parts coming out of other cars and makes it all um, real hard to drive let's go a couple more videos let's see what we have here we have here bound okay so what happened here both drivers are guilty why because um, the driver that been hit He's turning to the left. He must yield to the driver going forward. But the driver who's going forward didn't slow down. That's an equal equal thing for him to be guilty as much as the, the, the driver whom he hit. The police probably say that the driver goes straight is right because legally you are going straight. You're supposed to go on the green light, but he didn't stop. So they're both guilty. Let's move on. And besides, look, they have the trails for the for the tram they have another trails they have bad road conditions they have holes over here a uh, bad lights you know it's only four o'clock in the evening maybe five you don't see so much you have so many cars moving on this car had to slow down the one that was going straight they had to slow down all right let's move on okay don't listen to bad words i'm gonna shut it down for a little all right let's let's see what's next you see so what we have here we have unexperienced motorcycle driver that he doesn't know that he's supposed to slow down you know even he going okay the motorcycle driver is supposed to go straight this car has to yield didn't happen so the motorcycle driver has to go at the speed when and where he can slow down safely even if this driver violates the law and goes illegally to the left but this driver goes illegally to the left supposed to yield so he is guilty as well as this motorcycle driver this is what if what i think uh, let's do one more video and uh, i'm gonna stop this episode this um this one for today all right let's see yeah two idiots what, what can you say right 